So you've set up your Google Shopping campaigns and you are starting to get some data coming through the campaigns. Maybe you're getting some sales, um, but you're not necessarily getting the results that you want. What do you need to do? In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Google Shopping campaign, the simplest and most straightforward way of doing it, which will take just a few minutes per week to get to improve the results on your shopping campaigns. So without delaying any further, I'm going to dive straight in. So here we've got our shopping campaigns. In this particular client, we've got multiple shopping campaigns. It doesn't matter if you have one campaign or if you have nine campaigns or 10 campaigns, I think we've got here. It doesn't matter. The same process will work whatever your setup. What we are going to do is to adjust um, in order to optimize the, the campaigns, you need to obviously adjust your bids based on how well particular products or product groups are performing. So the first thing you need to do is set up some filters to be able to extract and to pull out products and product groups that are performing sort of outside of your target um, range of um, ROI basically. So for this particular example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we set up the filters. I'm going to set my, my target ROI will be, for example, for this one, 600%. That's the kind of the basic target ROI that I would set for any initial client. Um, so anything that's getting sort of in on or around 600% ROI is fine. I'm happy with that. What I want to find is anything that is getting a lot uh, an ROI that is way below that or anything that is getting an ROI that's way ROI that's way above that because obviously that's got a lot more potential. So the first thing we do is to set up our filters. Now we are going to adjust the bids at the product group level. So you go to your product groups tab and then you need to click on add filter here. So the first thing I've already got the filters set up in this particular client. And what I'm going to do is set up two filters. My target is 600% ROI. I want to know any anything that's performing at a level of 20% below that or over 20% above that. So 20% below 600% is 480%. So that's where I've set the lower sort of threshold, if you like. Now to set that filter, what I will do is I will set, I want to say anything that has conversions greater than zero, anything that has a conversion, conversion value over cost, which is your ROI, greater than, sorry, less than 4.8, that's less than 480%. And the last little one I'm going to add is I want anything with a max CPC greater than zero because then you don't get all these ones where you can't actually adjust the bid. You only get the products that are performing below 480% ROI um, that are actually editable. <clears throat> okay, And then once you've set these values, you will hit the save over here. And then you will, you will type in here whatever something is meaningful for you, which in this case for me, ROAS less than 480%. Okay, and then you hit save. I've already got this set up, so I'm not going to click save now. The next filter that you're going to set up is the higher level threshold so that you want to find the, the very profitable products. So in this particular, in that particular one, you're going to set your conversion value over cost to be anything greater than uh, 7.2 so that's 720 percent okay and then you will get the really profitable products again you'll hit save and then this one for example be row as greater than 720 percent hit set sorry hit 720 percent hit save and that's that one saved now the next one that I want to do is it's all well and good checking and optimizing bids for products that are selling, but it's equally as important, if not more important, to check on the products that are spending money 
but that aren't selling. So the next one that we want to set up, you can delete that one and you can click on the conversions. We want conversions less than one. So you want anything that has no conversions. But as you can see, they are spending money. <clears throat> so again, you hit save and then you just type something here like no conversions. Okay, and then click that and save that. So what we're going to do, once you've got your filters set up, all you do is you go in, you add your filter, you look for your filter. So there's my first one, my low threshold. These are the unprofitable or below target products. You set your, I would suggest that you set your product rate, your date range to the last 30 days, unless you have got a massive campaigns with lots and lots of data where you could do it to maybe 14 or seven days. But for most people, 30 days would be the best option. You set your filter for the ones that are below 480% um, in this case. And then all you do is you highlight all those products with the little ticked box at the top. You go edit, change bids, decrease. I normally go 10%. It's kind of a, it's a, just a good, good way to find that works well for most of my clients. Um, you decrease percentage and then you hit apply. I'm not going to do it here because I've already done this at, at, um, I've already done this previously. And then you hit apply and that will reduce all the bids on the products that aren't getting a very good ROI by 10%. Okay, next, you want to go to your filter for the products that are over the target for your ROI. Here we go, and you do the same thing. You click at the little box at the top, you highlight. It will come up if you've got more than one page, and you hit select all, however many that is. And then you go edit, change bids, and this time you want to increase the bids because these are really, really profitable, which means you can afford to spend more to get more orders because you know that they're doing well, they're well above your profit term target. And then in this case, I'm going to increase by 10%, increase the bid by 10% and you hit apply and then that will increase the bids across all of those products. And the final thing that you're going to want to do, as I said before, is to check the products that aren't converting. So you've got your no conversions filter here. <clears throat> in this particular one, I have set the impression to only pull out things which have an impression because there's so many products in this that it just doesn't load if I don't do that. Um, if you've got small campaigns that probably you probably don't need that. So these are all the products that are um, that are spending money but don't have any conversions. Now what I like to do is look at just as a rough this is a rough guide I look at anything with over 50% impression share is probably getting a little bit too much and I'll bring that back. Anything that's below 20% impression share, I'll want to kind of nudge that up a little bit so it's getting a bit more exposure. So you want to click, type, start typing impressions, you'll see search impression share. So if it's more than 50%, that means it's getting a lot of views but it's not converting. So we can probably like, drop it down a little bit. And then I would highlight all of these and then maybe again I'd change the bids and I'd decrease the bids by maybe 5% in this 5 or 10% depending on how much is being spent down here. And then apply that. <clears throat> and then I would look at all the ones with a very low impression share, so say less than 20%. And then again I would highlight all of those and then change the bids and in this instance I would increase by maybe 5 or 10 percent and apply that and then that's done. <clears throat> Final thing, <coughs> you will need to, there will be certain products in your shopping campaigns which will get clicks and 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 just will not convert. So you need to make sure that you have something set up whereby you're checking that on a regular basis. Now, that might happen in a week, might happen in a month. It might happen over six months. And over six months, one product might spend 
50 pounds or 50 dollars and not convert if you're only ever doing 30 day windows you'll never spot that so there's one final filter that we need to set up and that is we'll delete the impression share there and then we want to say i use usually use for me i'd say um, if anything's had a hundred clicks and hasn't converted then it's probably you know i won't really want to get rid of that so anything with clicks greater than 100 no conversions okay and more than 100 clicks i want to seriously consider excluding that from my catalog but for this one obviously i've i've um I've only got 30 days unlikely that you'll have anything in that bracket for just for 30 days so I'm going to set my time to um, depending on how long you've been going I'm gonna you can set it to all time you might want to set it to maybe if you do this regularly then you could set it to 90 days I mean I do this regularly so I won't have anything that has more than 100 clicks even over the whole campaign but this is where you will find um, let me see if I can just find and I will have something with 10 clicks. I just want to show you what you need to do. So just imagine that these are, these have got 100 clicks and they haven't converted. You'll come across, and for most of these, you need to possibly look at individual ones and see. Um, you might want to do it on a case-by-case -case basis, but in general, if they've had 100 clicks and they have not converted, then they're not likely to convert. This one you can see he has had 97, so it's just on the it's on the brink. That's about to need to be uh, removed. What I would do is just you go to the to the bid here, click the little pencil icon, and then um, exclude that from your feed. Uh, I'm not going to hit save here because I'm not don't quite want to remove that yet. Um, you would just exclude it and then that that product will no longer show up because obviously it's it's not something that's going to convert very well and so that's those are the the sort of how many steps is that there's the those are the three three steps for optimizing your shopping campaigns number one set up your filters for high roi products and low roi products no conversions and, and products that don't convert and then stage two is you increase your bids for the the products with a high IOR, ROI you reduce your bids for the products with the low ROI you um, look at anything with with a good impression share that isn't converting a high impression share that isn't converting bring those bids down a low impression share that isn't converting because it's not getting enough traffic bring those up a little bit and then finally products that have i would suggest maybe a hundred you know if it gets to a hundred clicks and you haven't had a conversion um then you would want to probably exclude those from so set of another filter for no conversions 100 clicks set the time frame to all time and if there's any products there, then you'll want to probably want to exclude those from your shopping campaign so that they don't waste any more of your budget. And what you'll need to do is just you can, as you can see, this is very quick, so very quick to do. It takes five minutes to do. Do it once a week. <clears throat> um, once your campaigns are established, if they're new campaigns, you might want to do a little bit more often. If they're very big, high traffic and spending a lot of money. Then you might want to do that more than more than once a week if they're very small campaigns and you haven't got a very big budget even once a month you can get away with doing this but if you consistently do these these follow these steps if you consistently do this over time you will improve the performance of your campaigns and you will slowly hit your target roi and remove any products that are wasting your budget <clears throat> so i hope you found that helpful if you have don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified of new videos. Please share with anybody that you think might find this video useful. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care now. Bye.